Learn how to create your own custom type design in Illustrator by following the simple steps in this video. We will start with basic text and transform it into a 3D style of type. I'll begin by typing out my text. The font I'm using is called Thirsty Script and it's currently available on Adobe Fonts. I find it's easy to work within the appearance panel. If you don't see it on the right side, you can also go up to window and select appearance. Let's add a stroke outline and increase the thickness. In the appearance panel, I'll drag the fill to the top and change the color of my text so we can better see what we're doing. Next, I'll add a drop shadow by going to style, drop shadow. I'll make the color black and make sure that blur is set to zero. Increase your X and Y offset until you're happy with your drop shadow depth, then hit okay. Now, I will increase my stroke thickness further until there is no white showing between my text, and then make sure that the stroke color is black instead of a dark gray. Next, in the layers panel, let's duplicate this type by dragging and dropping the text over the plus icon. Let's hide the bottom layer, and then remove the stroke and drop shadow from the top layer of text. On the bottom layer, let's make the fill black. I'll make the fill for the top layer of text white, and then copy the text with Command or Control and C. Now, I will add a gradient to the white text and change the rotation to 90 degrees and the colors to something like this. Now, we can paste the white text we copied in place with Command or Control and Shift with V over the gradient text. Let's lock the white text and black background text in the layers panel, and by holding Shift and dragging down at an angle, we can create an overlap effect with our gradient text. Repeat this step by pasting the white text and making it black, then dragging it down below the white text, Drag this text at an angle to create another overlap effect. Next, I'll drag out a rectangle to create a background, and right click, arrange, send to back, then I'll change the color to orange. Let's add a white outline to this text to help it pop more. Duplicate the black background and drag this layer to the top so we can see exactly what we're doing. Highlight this text and then go to Type, Create Outlines, then go to Object, Expand Appearance, then back to Object, Expand, and make sure Fill and Stroke are checked. Now go to Window, Pathfinder, and then select the Unite option. Now this background text is a shape and we can easily change the color. Let's drag it to the bottom and add a white stroke, then increase the thickness. We can create more depth by adding some highlights with the Pen tool. Make sure your fill is transparent, then I will make my stroke color a light gray. Now we can click to add anchor points and drag our handles out to curve the path to our text. Let's decrease the stroke weight and change the path style from uniform to end in a point from both ends. Repeat this process to continue adding highlights to your text, and that is how you can easily create your own custom type design in Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.